Hello, today we're going to share with you how we find our free park ups. We've got three different methods, including a little bit of a secret one that we hadn't heard anyone share before. So these methods have helped us find some fantastic nature park ups alongside stealth park ups in the city. Method one, applications. <laughs> So most people know about this one. So it's stuff like Park for Night and Search for Sites. We use Park for Night and we do really like it because you just find where you want to go and type it in and it shows you all good park ups and you like it because you because of the reviews. Don't yeah, you? so you get really like juicy reviews telling you exactly what the crack is. So you're not you're less likely to go into a situation where you think we really don't know anything about this. Method two, Google Earth. This method is a little more time consuming, but it can help you find a fantastic park up. So for this method, you go onto Google Earth and you type in the place that you want to go. So for me, that is York. So it zooms in on the place you want to go and we want to visit York, but we're not going to be able to park in York itself. So we're just going to look around the outskirts and you can look for a bit more of a countryside place anywhere around here would probably do so if we zoom in and as you can see already we have found a nice lay by here which i think would probably be all right for the night it looks quite near the road but you can zoom in and as you can see there's a little lay by here so i think we might can we not go down the lay by can we go down? Yeah, we can go down the way by. So you can see that that would be a decent little park up. So that's one example. We'll zoom back out and we'll follow this road along again. But that is definitely a decent option. But what I also do is sometimes there's little roads off the main roads like this one here. Or there might be a few more. If I zoom out a little bit, what, go into the countryside, there looks like there's one here. So if they find one, you just zoom in a little bit closer and just follow it along. And sometimes you can find aha, a little lay by here. So, and as you can see, there's actually cars or even vans maybe parked in it. So you drop yourself in. And as you can see, there's a nice bit of car parking space here there was a sign so always see if you can check a sign and it's just loading and it's just a cycling thing so that's fine so i think you'd be more than happy to be able to spend the night here and i think it'd be quieter than the other place so just make sure with these little park ups you don't park anywhere like what's blocking a fence like this and some are just passing places this is an actual car park or a place to park your car uh, so this would be fine and I'm sure you wouldn't have any problems here. Method three, the secret method, which is Facebook groups. <laughs> so what you can do is join some Facebook groups to do with van life. And what people do is if they go into a certain area, for example, like the Lake District, they'll type in or put a post on saying, has anyone got any park ups in the Lake District? And loads of people comment and say, oh, here's good. And they give you coordinates and stuff like that. And if it's a place that no one's done it before, then you can make the post yourself. So if you were going to Exeter for the night, you can just say, does anyone know any good park ups in Exeter? And people will come and help you. It's only a quick one today, guys, but here are a few helpful ways that you can find some fantastic park ups to begin your van journey. If it has helped you, please leave a like. We'd appreciate that, won't we? Pretty please. And we've got loads of van life videos now, so go and watch them if you've got nothing else to watch. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs> <Bye -bye. laughs>